sketch the region of integration and find the area. So I'm given a double integral, an iterated integral, and I'm asked to first consider what area I'm actually thinking about. Well, I know in the y direction, I'll need to go from minus one up to two, and then in the x direction, I'll need to graph x equals y squared and x equals y plus two, which for purposes of graphing, I'm gonna think of as y equals x minus two. All right, so I'm gonna sketch x equals minus two first for no other reason than I feel like it, and I think its intercepts are probably the way to go because that's always an easy way to graph a line. So there's one of my limits of integration. That's x equals y plus two. I need to sketch x equals y squared, which I'm going to think of as a nice, happy sideways parabola. And then from y equals minus one, well, that's where that intersection point is, all the way up to two, which I'm betting is where this intersection point is. Well, let's not take that for granted. Let's go on and do a little substitution here. Y plus two is equal to Y squared when I substitute that into my top equation. So zero is Y squared minus Y minus two. I have a nice factorable equation here. And I confirm that these intersection points are minus one and two in the Y direction. So there's my region. And I see no reason to proceed in finding the area in any way other than exactly what's here. I don't see any benefit to switching the order of integration. So we'll integrate with respect to x first, and I can see that everything is set up correctly, right? I go into the region through y squared, I go out of the region through y plus 2, and everything seems set up just fine. So here's the first round of integration. I might even skip this and just go on and write those things subtracted, but here in the video lesson, I think I'll behave and show all my work. So now I just need to find an antiderivative with respect to y. So I have one half y squared plus two y minus one third y cubed evaluated from minus one to two. And I've gotten really close to that little work over there. That's okay. All right, so now we need to do the arithmetic and I get one half times two squared, well, four times one half. I think that's just two plus four minus eight over three minus one half minus two plus one third. So, Let's see what happens when I do that arithmetic, which I'm doing off screen on my TI-84. And you get four and a half, which I would prefer to write as nine over two. And there's our nice happy area.